Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy December. If you're new here, my name is Kyra and here on my channel, we are all about real makeup for real life and real people. is a very fun collab that I have in store for you. This collab was created by my friend Angela over at Beauty by Angela, so I'll have her linked down below specifically. Everyone else is videos, Instagram posts, etc. will be down in the playlist below, but we're bringing to you Holiday Glam from the drugstore. Yep. And it also includes affordable products too, things that you might find in the drugstore section over at Ulta. You know what I'm saying. So I do have my base on. I'm gonna quickly tell you what I have already used on my face and then we're gonna get into colored cheek products and an eyeshadow look. So to prime today, I used the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer. This is almost similar to like a Tatcha Silk Canvas or the e.l.f. Putty Primer, but it's a little softer, a little moussier, and you definitely don't need a lot of this product, but it is beautifully smoothing to the skin. And when I'm going glam, I'm using a primer. Otherwise, I'm probably not. And then for my foundation from my Shop My Stash this month is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I wear the shade Buff Bisque. And for concealer, the less well-known sister of the Camo Concealers is the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. And I wear mine in the shade Light. I set everything into place with my trusty number seven Perfect Light Pressed Powder. This one is translucent. And for brows is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I have mine in the shade Neutral Brown. And a new favorite, the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And this is also in the shade Neutral Brown. And then I primed my eyeballs with the Ulta Matte Eye Primer in the shade Nude. And I also have on a little bit of the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm in the shade Tough Cookie. So for bronzer, I picked something soft, luminous. I just want an indication of, you know, shade and light to my face. I'm not trying to look like a bronze goddess here. So I pulled out my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. I have it in the shade Light. This is 100% a favorite bronzer of mine. But I've been trying, what in the heck? We have an escapee. I have been giving this one a little bit of a break and using some of the other bronzers in my collection, but I am so happy to be using it today. This is such a beautiful, soft, yet luminous bronze. It does give depth to the skin, even at this light shade, but it just looks so flawless and natural that it's definitely a favorite, a go-to. It feels luxury, it feels a little glam. So I'm excited to be using this today. Can you tell? See, it's not pretty. It's not like I stepped off the beach or anything, but it's like I have good skin and a little depth to my face. So how are the holidays going for you guys? I don't wanna assume anybody celebrates Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever, whatever you celebrate or if you don't, how's winter going for you? Is it cold where you live? I would love to hear from you. Here it's definitely been chilly, but a little less so than I would normally expect for almost December here in Colorado. But that could change later this week. There's a possibility of some snow, though we did have what, 11 inches of snow right at the beginning of November, so. But it's kind of been temperate weather since then. A little weird, actually. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and do highlighter, and I'm going to bust out my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Love this. It's a beautiful sort of golden champagne, and for me, I love this for the holidays. I love it for any time, but it is one of my gold gold too. <laughs> it's 
one of my go-to highlighters for the holidays. I've had this thing for an eon and it just never lets me down. It's super duper cheap and it always looks beautiful. I hope you'll be able to catch a glimpse of it. And this is another one of those products, kind of like the L'Oreal bronzer, where it just feels more expensive than it actually is. This is one that I am considering working on hitting pan in the new year in my panning project that's coming in the new year. Just because I have a nice dip in it already, certainly wouldn't mind using it on a more everyday basis. So we'll see. And then for blush as a product I haven't had for very long, but I think it's gonna be perfect for this look. And I'm really keen to try it with this bronzer and highlight combination. Super duper hard to open. Okay. It's the Honest Beauty Creme Cheek Blush in the shade Rose Pink. I have used it enough to figure out that using your finger works the best in terms of blending it out. And it's kind of, it reminds me a little bit of the Kosas Color and Light Creme Blush and Highlighter Duos in that it's almost like you have to, what do you wanna say? You gotta warm the product up in the pan before you put it on the cheeks. And I think that's why the fingers work better for blending this product out. Look at that rosy, rosy cheeks. And that's kind of what I was going for today. I wanted something that looks, you know, like I've been out in the cold, Jack Frost nipping at your nose and all that. So I do love that blush. Kept seeing everybody talking about this blush and I just had to have it. And then I saw it at a Walgreens one day and I didn't pick it up and I'm like, got home and kind of regretted it. And so <laughs> I turned around and ordered it on Ulta, which is kind of silly, but it's the way I am. I can't help it. And if you don't like a super strong blush look like I do, you want to go in lightly because this is actually quite pigmented, which is good. It makes it more versatile for more skin tones. And then I just want to put the tiniest bit on my nose. <laughs> it is like it's cute. I can't help it. I gave up the wave technique with my bronzer with the end of summer but I don't want to give up the blush on the nose. I think it looks cute. Again, Jack Frost nipping at my nose. That is the face done. I did kind of use a little bit of a facial mist to sort of set down the powders on my face, but now I'm gonna go in with this Milani Make It Last. This is in the Fruit Fetish Scent Mango Coconut, and I like to sort of press this over my cheek products. Make sure that they're not only pressed into the skin, but also to make them last. I have pulled three affordable palettes. This is where it turns more affordable and a little less drugstore, but starting with a palette from the drugstore, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Nudes of New York to sort of set up my crease situation before I go into a little bit more colorful shadows. I think I'm first going to go into this sort of warm transition shade up here. It's called Creator. And just kind of get this started in the crease. It's come to my attention that if we're really talking drugstore, drugstore, I don't have a ton of like colorful drugstore palettes. I have quite a few neutrals all right, next I'm gonna go into this brown matte down here, which is called Self Starter. And I'm gonna put this on the altar corner of the eye. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave if you like what you see today. I'm just placing this on the outer part of the lid. 
and then I'm gonna just ever so gently bring it up into the crease once I have the bulk of the pigment off the brush. So what has been the most exciting part of your holiday season so far? Did you do any Black Friday shopping? I don't know if I did at this point because I am pre-filming this so that I can spend Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all of that, enjoying my hubby and kids. But I will say so far for me, the most exciting thing has been the new Christmas tree that we got this year. We had just this tiny little slim, I don't even know like what to call it other than but ugly, cheap looking tree for so long. And it's just because, you know, we didn't have a ton of space when we lived in our condo. So we've had that one for quite a few years. I'm gonna go back into that original shade just to blend things out a little bit. And I'm so excited to not be setting that tree up this year. We did talk about maybe setting it up down in the family room in the basement, but we'll see. But I'm just very excited. It's a seven foot tree. It's a, they call it a Virginia pine. It kind of looks a little more real <laughs> than some Christmas trees on the market that we've you know, and that we've owned. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's already set up. It's pre-lit. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's pre-lit. Because I do not like springing lights. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited that we have a fireplace. I'm excited that I got a garland to go on the fireplace that's lit, pre-lit. So I'm just all together very, feeling very blessed by all of that. I'm just taking the same colors on the lower lash line before we get into the exciting part. The next palette, which I would consider very affordable and is still available, is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. I love the shimmers in here and I definitely think they are perfect for a glam look. So I'm going to use this beautiful green up here, which is the Sagittarius shimmer. First, I'm going to go in and go ahead and apply some of this NYX glitter primer. We're going to do one eye at a time. Pick up Sagittarius on my Beauty Junkies teddy bear brush, aka the Pro Shader. Pro all over shader and very carefully apply this green. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And doesn't it match my shirt perfectly? I don't typically have a lot of fallout with these shadows but just for good measure, and I would recommend that if you do have a glitter glue and you are doing a glam look or just even a more colorful look like this, that you err on the side of caution <laughs> and use a glue, a glitter glue. All right, the last affordable palette that I wanna pop into today is from ColourPop. It's the Aura and Out palette that was from the tie-dye collection. And I realize this doesn't scream holiday, but I do wanna pop this little green shade called Soul Sister. It is a super shock formula, and I just think it's pretty, it's sparkly. I think it might add a little something to this look. So I'm just gonna kinda of tap this on the center of the lid. Maybe? Anybody? Hmm. -mm. Might have to pop in with a sponge tip. Okay, that definitely did something, but I do think I'll hold my little sponge tip applicator here. Sponge tips work really well with shadows that either have hard pan or for super shock shadows that are this sort of bouncy texture. 
There we go. This really lays it down nicely. So pretty. I don't know, hopefully this reads Christmassy. Okay, for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna actually pop into this beautiful white called Young Love in here. See how that goes. When I have a lot going on on the lid, sometimes I just like to keep it simple and even matte on the inner corner. All right, I think I'm gonna pop back into the Maybelline Nudes of New York. I think what I need is possibly a little bit of depth or something. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Pioneer, and sort of put this on the outer part of the lid and blend it in with the green. Just give a little bit of depth and hopefully make it less springy looking? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna take that same shade, a little bit of this on the lower lash line. Uh -huh. I'm curious how many of you will actually be getting glam this year for Christmas. What with, um, you know, COVID and everything and people not, not as many people, I would have to assume, traveling and whatnot. Would you, will you be getting glam at home? I know I will just because that's me and that's part of Christmas for me is, you know, doing my makeup. Sometimes festive, sometimes just stuff that I really want to use, like favorites. Okay, not absolutely loving this white on the inner corner with this look. So I'm gonna pull my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter back out and we's gonna use that instead. All right, I am ready to do liner and mascara. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Semi Brown Nail Coal Eyeliner and the L'Oreal Air, uh, and the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara but I'm gonna speed through it because it's not super interesting. Okay, we're back and it's time for lips. I'm gonna use a couple of favorite lip products today. The first one is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Nude Entrance. I am ready to buy a backup of this because I'm gonna blow through this. I love this lip liner so much. Um, I didn't wanna do a bold lip with a bold eye. I wanted to do today what would realistically be a holiday glam look from the drugstore from me, and this is what it would be, so. Just a really beautiful little contour to the lips, and from my Shop My Stash, again, this month, is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick. This is in the shade Spiced Petal. It's a really beautiful pinky nude, and it just happens to be a shade dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Hmm, I feel like we need a gloss. Also from my Shop My Stash, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Pearl. I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand and just tap a little on the center. This is one of the best little lip glosses for just adding a little bit of shimmer to any look. It's just clear with like iridescent silvery little pearly pigments in there. So this is the final look using all drugstore and affordable products from me. 
you absolutely can pull out a drugstore holiday glam no problem. You could absolutely go neutral. I could have done the whole look with the Maybelline palette and I considered that, but realistically, again, I love putting color on the eyes and then going for a more neutral ensemble, if that makes sense. So happy holidays to you guys. I will have so much more holiday content coming up on my channel this month. Thank you to Angela for putting together this collab and including me in this collab. Thank you to all the ladies that are participating in this collab. Please don't forget to go down below and check them out. Let them know that I sent you. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful Jingle Bell makeup days. And I'll see you in my next video soon.